Hey guys, I'm Jesse from the YouTube channel Jesse the Reader, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Epic Adaptations, the series here on Epic Reads where I keep you in the know on all the recent YA book to movie and book to TV adaptation news. We've got a bit of adaptation news today regarding Looking for Alaska, Aurora Rising, and much more, so without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have really exciting news for fans of Sarah Destin's books, and I mean exciting. Emphasis on the exciting part. Netflix has optioned not one, not two, but three Sarah Destin books. Holy guacamole! Netflix hopes to turn each book into a film for the streaming service. The first book that was picked up was Along for the Ride, and this story follows a girl whose parents just went through a divorce, and she's having to live with her father's new family over the summer. Not only is she having to manage this new family, but she's also got a bit of a summer romance happening. Oh snap, ooh la la! Next up, this lullaby was picked up. This story follows a girl who has a set list of rules when it comes to romance, because she's seen her mom's romance, and she's on her fifth husband, and she's like, things are not gonna go that way for me. Nope, no thank you. But when she meets a boy named Dexter, she wonders if she's gonna be able to stick to those rules or just throw them out the window and hop into the romance. And finally, the last Sarah Destin book that was picked up is Once and for All. In this book, we follow a girl whose mother is a wedding planner and she herself has kind of become wary of love. But as this is a bit of a romance book, our main girl ends up having this guy who's super into her and she's not sure if she should go with it or just turn her back on it. We don't have too much more information on these adaptations as they were just recently picked up, but just the fact that they've been picked up alone is super exciting. As I've said before in these videos over and over and over again, I love when Netflix is in control of book-to-movie adaptations because they have so many great ones. Let's just let Netflix take over. They give us some great adaptations. Next up, Aurora Rising, which for some reason I keep having the hardest time saying Aurora. Aurora. It's not that difficult of a word, and yet here I am over here tripping all over it. Anyway, Aurora Rising by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff has been picked up by MGM to be turned into a TV series. This story follows Ty Jones, who is top cadet at Aurora Academy. Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. We follow him and his crew who just saved this girl who's been in cryosleep for hundreds of years. At first they're like, oh dang, we just did an amazing deed, look at us shine, and then they're like, oh crap, what have we done? Because they find out that she could possibly possibly be a catalyst for this war that's been building for millions of years. Madness, I tell you, madness. We don't have much information on this television series yet as it's just been picked up, but I've got my fingers crossed hoping that this adaptation actually happens. I also really want them to turn the Illuminate files into a series. So Netflix, get on it, please. The last bit of news that I have for you guys is related to Looking for Alaska by John Green. We talked about this a while ago, but Hulu picked up the rights for Looking for Alaska and they have been making moves to make this adaptation happen. The series has either been shot or it's currently shooting. I'm not 100% sure where they're at with all of that. But either way, it's happening. We're getting this series on Hulu. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we got a trailer for this soon. But I also don't know if that's just me wanting the trailer to drop soon, which is probably realistically the case here. I just can't help it though. I'm so curious to see what this series is going to look like. John Green actually went and visited the set recently. And he sat down with the stars who play the Colonel and Miles. And they do kind of a Q&A style video. It's a really interesting video because you kind of get to know a little bit about the stars and you learn how they feel about the source material. They talk about some things that they filmed for the show and I'm also pretty sure that John Green filmed this video on set because they're clearly in like a dorm room kind of thing. So I'm pretty sure they shot it on set which is pretty cool. And they gave us a release date. All Hulu episodes will be available on October 18th. So mark your calendars and get ready. BRB gonna go mark my calendar. That's all the adaptation news I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. You guys should let me know down below in the comments are your thoughts on today's episode? What are your thoughts on the Aurora Rising television series? What are your thoughts on the Sarah Dessen books coming to Netflix? And your thoughts on the Looking for Alaska adaptation? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next month with another episode of Epic Adaptations.